What is going on everyone? My name is Toxic Atlas and welcome to the video. Now, I'm bringing you guys this video for a couple of different reasons. Um, I want to say firstly before I get into anything very deep and emotional that I love all of you amazing supporters and subscribers. You guys mean the world to me and you guys are the reason I keep pushing every single day. To do what I do and to give you guys content, like, it means everything to me that you guys are here supporting me. But there have been some issues, not with you guys, but with me and my personal life outside of YouTube. Um, today I had some great news. I went into work today and I was instantly given a promotion after not even being there for a week but after I had gotten home and I got onto my computer to make some content for you guys today I had some issues with my computer and it looks like that my computer might be dying now I don't know when that's actually going to happen I don't know if it's even going to happen but in case it does, I want to let you guys know ahead of time that I'm doing everything in my power to basically get everything back up and running. But if things delay on the channel and slow down, I sincerely apologize. I'm doing everything I can. And it's not easy in the situation where I'm at. Um, if I tried to replace this computer with a professional starting gaming PC tower, it would set me back about $75 to $90 bi-weekly to rent to own a gaming PC tower on top of my rent payments, car payments, phone bills, storage unit bill, and a lot of other stuff I'm taking care of in my life. So, I'm honestly doing everything I can, guys, and I don't know if you guys have been able to tell with the content. I haven't been doing a lot of my regular basis stuff, like a lot of LSPDFR stuff. Sadly, as you can tell, this is not LSPDFR, this is just GTA Online, and the reason for that is I had to uninstall it. It was being a resource hog for now on my computer along with a lot of other stuff and I had to basically remove it for the time being. I will be bringing LSPDFR back at some point but for right now that is currently on hold along with a lot of other projects. For example all my GTA edits tomorrow or technically Tuesday which is today now or it will be soon when this video is uploaded at 8 a.m. a video called um, a Miata life will be uploading to you guys for all of you to see but that's going to be the last GTA edit for a while from me until I can sort everything out because I'm basically going to be cracking down on myself to work harder for myself because I've been getting into more and a more depressed state of mind and my friends have noticed. For example, one of my good friends, Hawk aka Ace, really good guy, go check him out real quick, go give him a subscribe if you haven't already. He makes great content daily, doing LSPFR tutorials and everything like that. Shout out to him, he's an awesome guy. But he's seen some stuff going on with me. He knows what's going on in my IRL life, along with some other people in my small friend group that know me personally. And they've noticed I've been getting slowly more and more into a depressive state of mind, which is not healthy. And this brings up a quote that I even mentioned to Hawk earlier today before this recording. And I can bring it up for you guys all to be able to actually notice and I'll pull it up on screen during editing so you can know it. So the saying, the quote goes, just because you see a smile doesn't mean you know what's going on underneath. 
A smile is a visible tool, my dear. It inspires your friends, keeps your enemies guessing, ensures that no matter what comes your way, you are always in control. Now, this quote is from Has Been Hotel. If you don't know what that is, go check it out. It's really an emotional animated TV show, not for kids, really not for kids. But um, this quote speaks to me a lot because outside of YouTube, I tend to force myself to smile and in a happy state of mind, even though I am not happy because I am living two different realities of my IRL life and then my YouTube life. As I told Hawk, um, when I sit down at this computer before work or after work, I am Atlas, the YouTuber, the gamer, and the content creator. But the moment the headset comes off and I walk away, I become my IRL personality, which is in a very emotional, broken up wreck of a life. And it is not easy for me to mix these personalities up. Um, I have not been diagnosed. I don't know what any of the stuff is that I have, but I have an A. I, I've talked to Exy about it. I've talked to Jem. You've seen her in the streams. I've talked to Ace about it. And I have more of an extreme version of um, what I have, basically. And it, it is not good. Like, my depression is very unhealthy for me. And I might have to take a couple of steps away from YouTube for a while, if need be, to sort myself out and get myself on the right track. Because right now, everything I do for you guys is to keep myself motivated. I really don't have any other motivation other than my gaming computer and you guys. And I feel if I lose either of those, I will basically lose all intentions of wanting to keep going and I don't want that to happen. So there may be a break, guys, where I step back for just temporary. I know I just, like, last week said I set it up a YouTube schedule where I was going to stream three times a week and have two uploads a week. And I don't want to break that schedule if I don't have to, but it might come to that desperately. But I just want to let you guys know I do love all of you sincerely. And thank you guys so much for 238 subscribers. It means a lot to me. All of you guys are fucking legends. And I want to thank you all so much. But I hope you made it this far. And I hope you did sincerely listen to everything I had to say today. Um, do go check out Ace. Go give him some loving while I'm gone for a while if I have to go away but thank you guys so much and I guess I'll see you in the next one much love everyone and have a good night